What's up, guys? Welcome to episode number 33 of 10K on the Bay. My journey to 10,000 listings on eBay. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to do a quick video on the first items that I'm going to sell in my second experiment, which is getting to a $52,000. Um, Thanks for joining me today. I am going to do a quick video. Looks like the audio is working. A uh, quick video on what I'm going to sell for um, to get my seed money for my new eBay store. Uh, low key husky. So I want to show you guys how to get started and from A to Z on how to do it. What's up, nine five four seven two? I see you in a couple of my videos. What's your name? Um, okay, so what I'm trying to do here is just show you the first items that I'm going to sell in this particular eBay store. I am going to show every single item I buy and sell on my way to fifty two thousand uh, dollars annual income. What's up, Tanya? And I just want to let you guys know, I. I'm gonna do what I preach, which is not quit my normal job, which is Facebook marketing, and I'm gonna do this until, I'm gonna do it on the side until my side income from YouTube and Patreon is above 5,000, which is gonna allow me to do this full time for you guys. But um, just wanna go over the items real quick so I can show you guys what I got. So the first thing I'm gonna sell is this Insignia um, adapter. So this is for a MacBook. If you have a MacBook, doesn't have, the newer ones don't have an ethernet cable. You can actually connect this um, to a USB port. So I don't know how much this is gonna go for, but we'll find out. Um, this is the first item I'm gonna sell. Um, the second item is this money mug. So $100 bill on here, it's pretty cool. What's up, Thrifty Reseller? What's up, Ryder Reeves? Thanks for joining me, guys. Oh. Tony, you have two accounts? Okay. Cool, so this is a mug that's gonna be on my store. Um, this is, this is kind of cheating, but uh, this is a return for my other store. So I'm gonna sell a brand new in box. I just wanted to sell a new item so you guys can see how I list that. Um, here's a pair of Steve Madden boots that I really like, but you know what, you gotta, you gotta sell some stuff to show people how it's done. I don't recommend you spend any money. Notice I haven't spent even one dollar on inventory yet because I want you guys to focus on selling stuff around. Um, what's up, Ken? Let me know. Um, you guys, you should message me so that you can buy my listing. I'll sell it for super cheap to you. Basically, I'm just showing. I'm just showing what's up. Russ says no cheating, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyway. So, got some Converse, just some normal leather. Converse. These are these are kind of beat, but you know what? They're still gonna sell on eBay. Um, see, normally I don't like haul videos, but I'm just gonna show you guys start to Z literally identical. How I mean, literally A to Z. How I'm doing it. I have this little stress ball for. It's like it's a little guy that's your X X, so you can squeeze the shit out of it when you're angry, right? This would be pretty cool. Uh, I mean, these don't suffer very much, but. Hopefully somebody on social media will want this. Um, that's going into the store. I could bundle it with some some alcohol or something for a breakup kit, but I'm not gonna do that. What's up, Tiny? No, it's like my third or fourth live video. I'm not super good at it. I'm still learning how to do it. Um, okay, cool. So we've got um, a coach bag. So this is, um, I don't know where I got this from, maybe an ex-girlfriend. But yeah, this is um, something I picked up that was around the house, so coach should do okay. What's up, Rita? Um, I have, and I wanna ship a variety of items. So this is like a lemonade dispenser, I think. I don't know what these are, I don't know what these are called. It's extremely fragile, it's, it's porcelain. Um, and the reason why I'm gonna sell this um, is because I wanna, sh I wanna test shipping something fragile on this channel. Um, I normally wouldn't sell stuff like this because it might break along the way. So uh, I'll just try it out. Okay, and I've got uh, Quicksilver swimming trunks. These are 100% going to sell really quickly because it's the season for this. If I don't sell this, it'll be because it's priced incorrectly. If you can't sell a pair of swim shorts right now, you, you, need, to, uh, you need to get your priorities straight and figure that out. So here's a pair of curries. Curry twos, these are the iron sharpens iron curries, which are awesome. They should do pretty well. Obviously, the Warriors are in the playoffs. Um, I'm in the Bay Area. I am a uh, supporter. So these are going to go for good money. And I like these, but you know what? you got to mix some sacrifices to get your eBay store going. 
I am not going to take any money out of this eBay store. I'm literally going to reinvest 100% in it, show you guys how fast I can grow this. Cool. So those are those ones. Um, you guys all know about Supreme. Supreme is a hot brand. It's a street brand. Um, I flip a lot of it. If you guys um, join my Patreon, I'm going to talk about bolos and stuff I, I flip that's more higher profit in there. But you guys will see some of it as I'm growing this store. But see, these are just stickers, but I'm still going to be able to sell these. I want to boost my feedback because right now I'm at three feedback. So I've got to get that higher. I'm going to sell these as a lot and try to get a little bit more money. Cool. So a little bit of Supreme stuff. Um, I subscribe to um, the Sports Market Report because I signed up for um, a subscription for the PSA to grade Pokemon cards. So basically, um, this, these magazines still sell for money. I don't open them because I don't do the sports cards. I only trade Pokemon cards. So this is just, you know, if you get a subscription to something, which I'll go over in some other videos, you get some perks. I always sell all the perks because it's eBay and you can make money selling anything. But people obviously want the sports market report who are collecting baseball cards and they may not actually have the subscription to PSA. Cool. Well, PSA is a sports authenticator for um, a sports authenticator for baseball cards. This is a brand new store, so I'm, I'm I have a my main store, which I'm trying to get to ten thousand items. And then I have this one, Low Key Husky, that I'm trying to build up to a full time income from zero. Um, let's see here. Exactly, it's for your ex ex best friend that went after your husband. That's horrible. Uh, let's see here. Uh, perfect. Cool. So this is Sachi. I don't know anything about this brand. I need some girl help. It's a lunchbox. I should be able to sell it because it's picnic season, right? So I'll be able to sell this, no problem. Yeah, if you, first, first generation Pokemon cards are worth a lot of money uh, because even the new generations, um, I bought for around, I bought 2,000 Pokemon cards for 1,500 bucks and flipped it for 7,000. So uh, I haven't had much time lately, but I want to get back into Pokemon PSA. I got two pairs of socks that are new. Uh, I want to sell a few new items so you guys can see. These are wool socks. I don't know what the season is for that, but I'm going to sell both of these to show a multi-quantity listing. Um, I have a Suze Orman. Uh, Suze Orman is like this financial planner lady. This I picked up um, at a garage sale. Um, probably a month ago, so I'm going to sell this. Um, this will be the only item in my list that I'm going to put a dollar amount on. So I paid one dollar for this. Um, it's a trust, living trust kit or something like that. I'm sure these go for better than a dollar. What's up, Gina? Um, so, but it is going to be really heavy to ship this thing. But I want to sell a bunch of different items so you guys can see how I ship. Uh, I'm not going to sell items that I lose money, but if I break even, it's okay because I'm trying to build up feedback. So uh, I'm right now I'm looking for around 25 items to get started around the house. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we got a Fender electric guitar case. Um, I don't know if this will sell well, but hopefully it sells for something. Um, and I don't know why I have this. I didn't pick it up at a garage sale. I used to play the guitar a long time ago. Maybe it's just um, from that. Cool. Uh, I've got Patagonia snow pants. So um, these are probably my brother's. I don't know, whatever. So he's, he's not skiing right now, so he, he's not going to notice. Um, but yeah. These are probably my brothers, Patagonia, all you guys. Obviously, you guys know that brand. Here's the tag. Cool. All right, a couple questions. Uh, okay, and also, I have these three. I'll answer questions in just a second. I just want to get you this list. Um, these three folders for shirt folding. So this is where you, like, you put your shirt in. You go, right? There's that cool viral video on YouTube where this guy makes one for his daughters. But I don't use these because they're too slow. So if you guys want these closed folders, let me know. I'll send you the link to the eBay link. It'll make it uh, super easy. I'm probably going to sell all three for 20 bucks. 
um, something like that, maybe a little bit less. Um, but yeah, clothing folders. I should be able to sell these because people are looking for them, but they're not selling for very much money. They're selling for around $20 new. Two of them that I have are sealed, so they are new. I just don't know if I'm going to make much money off this. I'm trying to get some seed money going. Um, okay, then I have a Gucci retail bag. You guys don't know retail bags for high-end stores sell. So this is going to make me money even though I got it for free when I bought a gift for somebody. So um, retail bags are worth money. Look them up when you're at the store. Uh, I think I already went over this, but I have a Hello Kitty suitcase. Um, it's pretty awesome, honestly. So we'll see how this does. And then finally, I have a bunch of different golf clubs that I'm going to sell, including a Scotty Cameron, which should fetch some decent money. Um, so cool, I have um, this little bin right here, and I am going to use my bin system, but a lot of people have asked me about hard goods. Notice how there's not a lot of clothing in here. There is going to be some in the beginning because a lot of people have clothing at home they want to get rid of. Um, so everything in this bin is going to have the same title in the, in the description. So this is going to be bin number zero. Let's just say zero because I think that to make a thousand dollars a week, you really probably don't need more than twenty, more than thirty-six bins. So let's just assume A through Z is twenty-six, and zero through nine is another uh, ten numbers. So you've got thirty-six bins with just one extra letter in the title, which is nice. What's up, Carrie? Uh, thrifty fight check, chick. Nice to see you. Uh, let's see, okay, then I can go answer some questions now and see what you guys are talking about. Um, thanks for joining me today. Please hit the like button if you guys can. Florida is asking, how can I improve your store? Um, not sure, you gotta be more specific. So if you can email me at 10konthebay.com, I will look, take a look at your store. Um, if you want to subscribe, I mean, just keep and keep plugging myself so I can quit my job. But if you if you want to subscribe to the email accountability, I'll help you every single month with your store, and I'll share my store. You share your store. Let's see if we can work together and improve it, and work together. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, you like the folders? Awesome. Just got a new one. Thanks, Tina, for joining. You don't have space for storage. I'm trying to build ten thousand. Like you don't need that much space for storage. Trust me. Like. This is, if you don't have room for this, like where are you living? This is already gonna be like 30 items. So to get 2,000 items, you just need a couple shelves to get there. Um, we'll see if we can put it together. Start small. Um, you can also sell video games, sunglasses like um, Russ is saying. Let's see, Joel, thank you. Yeah, trying to be extremely thorough and you guys are gonna see every single item that's sold and every single item I list start to finish because I really want you guys to see that it can be done. Also, to give you guys an idea, I'm a big fan of lean. I'm kind of violating my rule right now by having inventory in the office. I'm gonna do everything in the garage so that I can go from my car to an, a processing bin and do it right there and I'm gonna leave it stored in here. So um, for hard goods, um, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to pre-package them. I'd like to, but again, it's kind of time-consuming to get it all done. But I don't have a lot of time to ship. And as you guys will see in a future video, I'm going to try to ship all my items between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Um, or maybe even 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Because if, if I can get to my goal of 5K making YouTube videos, which I think I can relatively soon, then I'm going to spend my whole day shopping, which I think will be really useful for you guys. Um, if I can get to that point where I can show you what I'm looking for because I think I'm really good at negotiating, which is key. If, you, if I find items that are, that are worth anything, I can usually get them all bundled together and that's from years of experience. So a lot of people have said, hey, um, I don't see why your sales experience matters. It matters because it helps me get a deal on the items. So it doesn't help me sell on eBay because that's, that's just math, right? You're gonna search complete listings, Go on there and find out what's selling well and buy more of that or it's on the research and when you buy something available and you see what it's selling for and you, and you offer a good deal. How do I feel about buying penny items for increasing feedback? I think it's a good idea. Um, 
I'm just not going to advocate feedback padding is against eBay policy. So you're not, you don't want to buy items just for feedback. So if you're going to buy like um, stickers, like someone had suggested, or um, recipes or things that have some kind of use, and you're um, okay. Also, if you're okay with trusting people to not leave feedback, I'm sorry, not provide tracking information, you could buy like a stamp on eBay or something, and that's going to come in a regular stamped envelope that's not um, tracked. But people still do that. Like you'll see Pokemon cards for a dollar shipped, but the cheapest shipping is two dollars and sixty-one cents with tracking. So they're just hoping that their end customer is honest and says that they received it. Um, yeah, Tanya, I have a death wall. I literally have like three thousand unlisted things from my main store. So I'm gonna make sure that on this new series that I'm making for you guys, I don't do that. I don't like. I'm trying to show you guys what selling thousands of items improperly has taught me. When am I going to list the items? I'm going to list them live probably Sunday. So stay tuned for that. What's up, Godfather of Thrift? What's up, James Brown? Now, that's a great name. Uh, definitely hit, help me hit the like button and subscribe. So for my videos, I'm going to do a little bit different just so you guys know. I think you guys have noticed. All the information that I have is in the beginning of the video. That way, people who have a job or in a hurry, they can get all their information quickly and then get back to work um, instead of um, having to watch an hour long video to get five ideas. So I think that's not necessarily efficient, but if you guys have questions afterwards, that's fine. But I don't want people who are in a hurry. And because if, if you have a full time job and kids, the amount of time you have to work is really, really small. I don't have any kids, no fur babies. Um, my girlfriend is very demanding, but only in a short period of time. So for her, my, my theory is that a higher quality of time always trumps more time. So all of our dates are planned, they're organized. It's like we're first dating and we've been dating for six years. So trying to keep it short. Like if you only have a small amount of time to spend with somebody, don't bring your phone. Just focus on them if you can. I'm learning how to be good at that. Uh, let's see here. Yes, all about lean, Tina. So this is not lean, having inventory in my house, because that means i got to bring it into my house and take it out of my house, which is not lean. You want to reduce the steps, reduce the movement. Um, <clears throat> so full-time job and kid. See, I don't have a full-time job or a kid. If I had a kid, it would probably reduce the amount of time I have to work on this in half at least. Um, yeah, kill that like button. So yeah, um, this is the strategy. I'm going to show every single item, including items that I think might not sell, like this drink holder thing. <laughs> this is going to cost a fortune to ship, right? So this is an item that I think is going to be a little bit more pricey. It's going to take a long time to package. If you're trying to build up your eBay store, don't sell stuff like this because it's too slow. Even if you made $50 profit on this, which I will not, it's still going to take a long time to package properly. And the chances of this breaking, are really is really high. So let's see if anybody has any other questions. You have two stores and you've been hesitant to start from the bottom again. Split feedback. Well, I think once you get to a certain point, my opinion is just a hundred feedback. If you have a hundred feedback selling, I think people trust you. If you have a hundred feedback in general, maybe not so much, but if you've sold a hundred items and you have perfect feedback or, or 99%, people will trust you. Um, is the brand Temptations for the Lemonade holder? It is. Temptations, it is. Is that good? Um, temptations. Hopefully this is good. I don't know. You have seven stores? Oh, yeah, or seven kids. I was joking about having 20 kids, but that would probably cut into my eBay time. Yeah, so... Data's ACS is saying um, Pokemon cards have been sent with just stamps. Um, I think that's okay with inexpensive cards, but if you're going to send expensive cards, they need to be um, tracked. I try not to sell Pokemon cards under under fifteen dollars, so I always pay the two dollars and sixty one cents for tracking. What's my favorite item to sell? Clothing, because it's so easy. That's why, and that's why so many people sell clothing. Uh, I like 
streamlined processes. This is not streamlined. This is going to take me forever to list because every single item is different. It's going to, it would take me probably two months to train somebody how to do this, right? In clothing, you can learn how to sell it in one day. So, um, and it's available everywhere. Wow. So Tanya has two children, two babies, oh, two fur babies, and a husband. And the husband is uh, like an, a third child. That's like three children to take care of. Um, it's from QVC. It's a good brand. Awesome. So hopefully I can sell it. Um, it definitely looks expensive. Actually, I know where I got this. Um, I got this at a church sale. The lady just gave it to me. So I'm really popular with old ladies because I take the time to get to know them at these sales. So this is really high quality. Um, hopefully it doesn't break. I'm going to have to post the tracking. Let's see. Western style shirts. Western style shirts are awesome. Um, are they the pearl snap? Uh, I do well with Western style shirts, but again, right now, clothing is a slow season between now and September. So if you guys want to really bulk up your store, try not to sell all clothing because it's going to be slow unless it's a, a swimwear or shorts. Wow, seven kids. That's insane. Man, is, is having seven kids the same as having one kid? You could just, you know, do one process one time. I don't know. I think it would be fun for me to have 20 kids for about a week. Then I might get tired of that. No, I, I'll do, I mean, I know how to ship stuff like this. I'm just saying if you want to build your eBay store and you're spending an hour packing this, it's going to be tough. I'd rather you sell a bunch of $5 items and build up that inventory. J. Crew is the bomb. Uh, Stetson and Ralph Lauren, good brands. Let's see. Why am I splitting my focus? Um, the reason why is, well, at this point, I have four listers for my 10K store, and I still have thousands of items that are not listed. So, um, and another reason is because, like, yesterday I received 700 questions. Like, that's insane. I just started my YouTube channel and the questions are all the same. Like, how do I start from zero? I don't have any money. I have $10. How do I start my eBay store? So that's why I created a new series because um, to be frank, like I make five grand in my, in my Facebook marketing job and I'd like to replace that with YouTube income. And I actually think I can do that. So not just from YouTube income, but from stuff like Patreon or merch or other ways to support creators. Um, I think I can get to that income which would mean I could do eBay 24 seven, which I'm actually okay with. I like selling things, but I don't necessarily like working for other people. And so if I were to go get a job at like a Silicon Valley startup or a, you know, a bigger firm like Oracle or IBM and, and be in sales, that's going to be a great job, but it's kind of soul crushing. It takes a long time to sell stuff. Sometimes the sales pipeline is a couple of months, which is tough versus an eBay item. If you're good, you never wait longer than three months to sell something, and you get to keep 100% of the profit. You don't have to split it with the person who owns the company. <laughs> Seven kids, it's so much. Um, so James Brown says that um, selling on a mannequin increases your sell-through rate. I agree with that, um, but it slows, Okay, this is maybe not true. There are some people like my friend Endless Entrepreneurs Luke, he lists just as fast using a mannequin as I do flat lay. So it depends on your model. Yeah, yeah, you gotta make a potatoes gonna potate shirt because I, I think that would sell well. I just got approved for merch. If you guys don't know Glenn Zubia, he's doing all my designs. I'm gonna pay him $10 uh, per design to make it for me. So hopefully I'll just sell one or two for each design to break even as I build up my uh, merch inventory, but I kind of focus on that. So I'm just going to make sure I have the right people in place. Um, let's see. YouTube income has changed. So this is the thing. Um, I get 55% of the income from YouTube, which is great, right? So they, if if I if there's $500 in ad revenue, I get you know two to seven a year or something, which is awesome. But that's not how people on YouTube make money. It's all from supporters, people who are directly paying me to make videos for them. So, like on my Patreon, it's like you can pay $10 to help me make videos. Ideally, if I do YouTube all day, I would just have somebody come film me and and edit for me because I actually don't know how to edit videos. So 
that's a skill that I need to put more time into. And again, there's only so many hours in a day. I can only do live or screen share videos where I'm talking. I literally just learned how to pause a video. So it's taken a long time. What's the best type of shipping to use for clothing items? I'll go over it. Like as my items start selling, I'll show you how to do it. But first class mail under one pound is the best way. Man, Lindy is in the chat. I'm going to be on her show in a couple minutes. Um, so everyone tune in to Lindy Glenn. I'm sure all of you already follow her. She is amazing, and she has a huge channel already. Uh, we're going to talk about employees. Uh, let's see. Will you weigh each item? Yeah, I'm going to weigh every single item when I, when I start. I'm debating doing free shipping just to get it going in the beginning, but... I'm actually probably going to do calculated shipping just to show you guys that I had to weigh items before. Um, yeah, I, I'm also, um, Sultan, just to answer your question, I'm not going to take any money out of this store. I'm literally going to, just my 10K store too. That's why I haven't quit my job because being able to reinvest all the money back into the store makes it grow really fast and allows me to have people like listeners who are listing stuff for me. So last night there was 200. Here, I'll show you guys. <laughs> Last night, <clears throat> last night, um, my listers brought back 30, 60, 90, 180 items that are listed. So that's 180 items I did not list because I had extra money from not taking any money out of my eBay store. That's why I'm saying don't quit your job or get a part-time job. I might even get another part-time job. That's why I have more money to grow, right? So let's see here. Where are the snacks? I'm trying to, I kind of do, I kind of do, um, what's it called? Intermittent fasting. So I'm trying to basically skip breakfast, eat lunch and dinner. But yeah, having extra money uh, from not living on your eBay income really does help. Awesome, Mal. We need, when I come visit you in Oklahoma, we need to go golfing. All right, guys, I got to get back to work. Um, hopefully you guys um, can get some more stuff done. Hopefully this is useful. Um, I actually don't know where I'm going to put the inventory from my new store, um, Low Key Husky, but I'm getting pretty excited because the Instagram is growing pretty fast. People are being very helpful. Um, yeah, yeah. Also, if you guys don't know, thanks, thanks for us for reminding me. I'm doing a barbecue on Sunday as if I'm not busy enough with uh, Reezy Resells and Posh Hanger. So if you guys are around the Bay Area, um, hit me up at 10K on the Bay at, Bay at gmail.com and I'll give you information for our barbecue. Um, it's also going to be in my Instagram. I got to promote that hard today. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, email me 10K on the Bay at gmail.com. I answer every single email, even though it takes me a long time. Um, I'm learning how to use the voice to text feature so I can fly through that. Um, so if they're a little bit wonky when you get a response, just email me again. Have a great day, guys. Like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon. Cheers.